All right, we continue to keep track on the tropics. Of course, we had our first hurricane of the season this weekend. That is dawn, which has weakened dramatically, will continue to weaken. It's almost off the map here. It's well out in the North Atlantic. That will continue to push away. All right, we have triplets this afternoon. Uh, we have three tropical waves. Let me show you number one and number three. Here's number one. That's moving from the Caribbean into the Eastern Pacific. We won't worry about that one. Also a tropical wave around 25, 30 degrees west now uh, off Africa. We won't be concerned about that. That is going to weaken. Now we have our other wave around 55, getting close to 60 degrees west this afternoon. I will say this has gotten itself a little better organized through the morning here. More of a clustering of showers and thunderstorms. We'll take a look at that here in a second. I want to show you, though, what has stopped this tropical wave. And you can see it propagating here quickly to the east on the water vapor loop. There's the leading edge. It's dry air. Dry air, it's been in its way, and I think that has prevented development. But I'll tell you what I don't see. I don't see much wind shear right now. And with this wind shear being light, let's keep an eye on this system over the next 24 hours as it continues to encounter very warm waters. And this is the story so far of the season. A lot of warm water in the Atlantic Basin, especially look at these temperature anomalies. This is compared to historical averages. I mean, this is three or four degrees. This is eight, nine degrees above normal here off the mid-Atlantic coast. That's why every time we have these systems, when the trough becomes negatively tilted and you pull in some of this warm water, you get flash flooding. That's been a big problem. We do have a lot of warm air, but we haven't had a whole lot in the way of tropical activity the last couple of weeks here because we've had too much wind shear and uh, too much dry air. Now. Let's keep an eye on this tropical wave. You can see some clustering of thunderstorms. I, you know, it's still a fairly large area, but the window for development here is closing. I think it has from this afternoon until Tuesday, into a part of Tuesday to get better organized here. But the window, as I mentioned, is rapidly closing. Now, there, it's going to get gusty and wet later today and tonight already in Barbados, but uh, across mostly the windward and southern leeward islands here. There's going to be squalls tonight there. Little impact on the United States because I think as this system moves across the Caribbean as we get into Tuesday night, Wednesday, it is really going to weaken here as it encounters wind shear. But listen, let's keep an eye on this. You don't close the door on any tropical wave until you're 100% sure that there will be no development. And I'm not 100% sure there won't be any development with this. Again, the window is small, but it's still open. All right, meanwhile, uh, this is a tropical wave that bears watching. It is not even off Africa yet, but it will come off Africa on Tuesday. Now, development is possible later this week in the central Atlantic as we start to lose wind shear and we start to lose the dry air. It will approach the Leeward Islands this weekend. So this is going to be the next system, the monitor. Again, it's coming off Africa later on tonight, so we'll keep an eye on it for you as well.